FBI. He joins me now to talk more about it. And Jim, it is always a pleasure to see you. Nice to be with You've you. You've been very critical with me over the over the last year of Jim Comey, of the politicization happening or that has taken place at the FBI. First, what do you think about the, the Merrick Garland idea? Who would you like to see as the leader at the FBI? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Uh, the leader of the FBI should be someone who's really vested in experience in investigations, a solid person, smart, articulate, a good communicator, someone who can motivate the agents to excel, you know, for the good of the country, somebody who can deep get deep down into their gut of patriotism. You know, the FBI works for the American people. It doesn't work for either party. It never should. And that was Jim Comey's big mistake. It was a big mistake. This criminal referral comes over briefly, you know, and says, you know, you can't call it criminal, no grand jury. He needed to stand up at that point in time, have a press conference, and resign from the FBI. The FBI, you know, cannot be whiplashed around for political reasons. As soon as it does, you know, that's the end of it. That can't happen. And that's really what you've been saying for several months now, that the FBI had become too politically oriented. I mean, look, granted, Jim Comey is in a, a tough, was in a tough spot when his boss, Loretta Lynch, has that meeting on the tarmac with Bill Clinton. Right. And it was obvious that everybody knew where Loretta Lynch was uh, right. on the election, where Barack Obama was right. on there. They wanted Hillary. Right. So he really needed to step down, Jim right. Comey. Yeah, I mean, it was obvious to anybody with a brain that they were never going to indict Hillary Clinton no matter what the evidence, ever. It was never going to happen. So what would Jim Comey thinking five months down the road when he has this sort of shallow investigation, but there was so much evidence that they found piles of it anyway, and that they articulated, you know, really a lot of evidence. I mean, she it, said he, she was incredibly yeah. careless. Yeah. She sent thousands of emails yeah. to Anthony Weiner. Yeah. Uh, you know, she had all yeah. of these things yeah. in terms of conflicts around her. Right. But we wouldn't recommend. Well, because no, uh, he made the point no intent, which was crazy. There was, you know, like a, a hundred mile long train of intent. You know, and then that notion that Hillary Clinton was not of right mind to understand that she was really violating the law. You know, she, I mean, come on. Well, what was the point of a private ser server in your basement anyway? To violate the law. <laughs> exactly. yeah. yeah, yeah, and to have your own communications. <laughs> well, I mean, it's what was plain. The point? I mean, it can't be any plainer. Convenience, yeah, right? The server yeah, uh, yeah. at home. It's you know, and work. then all the different things Comey did, you know, releasing things on Friday afternoons like the bad guys do and. You know, all this other stuff just made no sense. I mean, a smart guy lacking in common sense and just wasn't built to be the FBI director. So take us back. What happened at the FBI to make it so political over the years? I mean, a lot of people talking about the Muslim Brotherhood as part of the issue here. What's yeah, your take? I mean, I've spoken about that, and uh, a lot of people don't want to hear this. But, you know, right after 9-11, in my view, uh, Bob Mueller, who was then the, then the director, you know, sort of uh, acquiesced. Uh, with care, you know, which is actually a front group, in my view, uh, of, the, of, of the Muslim Brotherhood. And there's a lot of uh, connections to the Muslim Brotherhood in, they the, really in the White House. Infiltrated in the government. White House. Yeah, in the White House. In exactly. the White House, without getting into detail. And the FBI really uh, took away from uh, the training materials of the FBI uh, the whole his history of radical fundamentalism. I mean, it would kind of be like, okay, we're not, going to, we're not going to know anything about La Cosa Nostra. We're not going to know anything about their habits or why they do things. I mean, it's just nonsense. So you weren't so allowed to study the background of Islam? How can agents investigate uh, radical fundamentalists without knowing the whole history, where they're coming from, what their mindset is, what, you know, that they want to over, basically infiltrate the United States and take the country over, but that's along with saying. killing people. Mueller took away the tools to do that. He took away the tools and he kept, he kept them away. And Comey kept that and up. And Comey kept that up and the agents, you know, training uh, were basically, not the agents were dumb, the materials were dumb. You know, and, uh, and basically this blanket of political correctness tied behind the back at least one arm of the FBI, made it really impossible for the FBI to better protect the United States of America without question. You know, you go, look back to the Boston, Mar you look back to the Boston Marathon and all those other cases, right? It turns out that the FBI knew about those people, right? But they kind of dropped them off the side. Well, yeah, in the FBI, there was a culture of, well, you better not get too out there. You better not lean forward too much on some of these people. Why? I don't understand why. Uh, it would take all the psychiatrists in the world to figure it out. Because they just you know, sit and, by and, the narrative? Yeah, they... and why and how the political elite went along with this is just really disgusting. 
you know, it's a conspiracy of numbness and stupidity that has really harmed the ability of the FBI to protect the United States of America. And you have to say that that continued yeah. just recently with this whole Russia probe. So this Russia probe has been ongoing for 10 months. We still don't have any evidence of yeah. collusion between well, the president well, and guess, the Russian. Guess what, Maria? And where's the investigation G of the leak? Guess what? The Russian probe is being conducted by the Foreign Counterintelligence Division of the FBI. It's not a criminal investigation. It's not a criminal investigation. Where's the crime? All you Democrats out there, there is no crime. Right. There's no articulated crime. It's an intelligence matter. But we know that it's a crime to release and leak information that's classified right. to yeah. the media. Right. Where's that investigation? I don't know where that is. That's a major big time crime. Is that you know? why he got fired? One of the reasons. Well, I think one of the reasons. I think there's a whole host of reasons. You know, at that reason, the leaks, and then look at this un unmasking of it's reported thousands of names of people. I mean, that is a huge, huge scandal and, and a huge violation of the privacy laws of the United States, a huge violation of the very laws that enable the FBI to protect the country. So should that be the priority number one for the incoming that, I mean, that's FBI right up director. there. Priority number one, the leaks. That thing is just outrageous. The new FBI director, you know, should be someone, you know, that has the intestinal fortitude to protect this country regardless of people that want to politically bend that away from certain things. Is that going to be easy? I mean, how tough is it now no, to turn I, I, this I ship think, around I think what I just said, 90, I think what I just said, 98% of the people that want to be the FBI, FBI director are not qualified. They're not qualified in a lot of ways. You know, just because you're an attorney or you worked in the Justice Department, let's get away from that. Let's put someone in there that understands investigations. Let's put someone in there with, law a, with a strong intestinal fortitude. Let's get someone in there who can motivate police officers, FBI agents, yeah. Secret Service agents, everybody to be a better person to protect this society. We live in a very dangerous world. Now's the time, Mr. President, we got to pick the right person for this job. And they got to get rid of this political correctness. Really, really uh, great insights from you as always, Jim. Thank you so much.